This is exactly what happens when you cut down a eucalyptus tree to a stump. So this was a eucalyptus perineana. I broke all the upper ones off. I'm going to take my chainsaw and buck that off. I got to keep these things small. They just, eucalyptus trees get out of hand here. I've cut that one back too. I'm going to cut the top off of that. Keep them all small. Otherwise they do uh, get kind of dangerous. Look at the bay trees. They're getting big. So this one's a spinning gum and this is the one that was hanging over the greenhouse. In May 2021, we had uh, Scotty the arborist cut her down and they call it a spinning gum because you see how the stem goes through the center of the leaves. Well, what happens when those leaves die? Let's go find one where there's a dead leaf on it. And by the way, that's the immature foliage on a spinning gum. So the leaves break in the center and then they spin when the when the wind hits them they'll spin on the stem so they call that a, a spinning gum or a perineana and uh, these are my seed grown from local uh, trees aren't they beautiful it's gonna flower too so I'm gonna cut the top off of this one I already did it was tall I'm gonna cut all of this stuff off of it get rid of this stuff just too much Get that off of there too. I always carry your pruners. You never know when you need them. But uh, so you, the long, uh, the, the mature leaves get longer like this, you see? And there's some really nice uh, spinning gums growing around town. So immature leaves are there, round. And mature leaves are long and they get even longer than that too, so. So that's why they call it a spinning gum. There's a parvula in there. Look at that. I keep forgetting about that one. That's eucalyptus parvula. No shortage of eucalyptus trees on our property here. We have so many eucalyptus trees. Neglecta, the Buzavillae, Passiflora, Dollarium pliana, and they all do well in the wintertime. So yeah, get my chainsaw back from the shop. They're ordering a part for it. I'm going to buck that off. More firewood, right? Anyway, they're beautiful trees and uh, plant them in the right spot. Otherwise, they can be kind of dangerous if they're close to your house. And they do tend to lift up, um, you know, pavement. And this one we don't have to worry about. It's growing beside a trachycarpus palm that is 100% neglected. Thanks for watching. Cheers.